Gregor, your sixth Six Nations as Scotland coach. What makes it so special to you, this champion? Oh, so many things. <laughs> I was a I was a supporter that went along in 1982-84 in the schoolboy enclosures. Uh, I was fortunate enough to play in, in a number of Five Nations, then Six Nations games. So to be in a position of of coaching, it feel very privileged because this is the best tournament, not just in a, in rugby but in sport. It, the guaranteed um, crowds, the passion, the history, um, the intensity of the competition, also now the quality of the competition. The, the teams have improved uh, over the last few years and we now have the number one and number two teams in the world in the Six Nations. Yeah, it's a very good championship depth-wise anyway. Your 40-man squad, how would you compare this squad maybe compared to the last couple of years? Do you feel you have more depth? Yes, we, we do have more depth and you, you need depth because injuries tend to come at this time in the season. So as you're selecting your squad, you, you're going to have a few injuries. And it's likely throughout the campaign you'll, you'll pick up more. We're in the middle of a, a season and it's a physical, physical sport that we play. But we have, we have really good depth in, in a few different positions. I think of centre, I think of uh, second row. Just now there's a lot of people that, that could play tomorrow if we had a game um, a lot of people not in our squad that could play test level uh, but there's a, there's always a couple of positions that your your depth is really tested uh, tight head prop just now is is one of them but no we, we're we're delighted with the squad we've got um, just getting it down to that 15 is the next challenge it certainly is a few new caps one of them being Ben Healy what have you maybe seen in Ben that maybe the Irish selectors well what, what we've seen in Ben is recent form uh, he played really well when he came off the bench against Ulster a few weeks ago. The, the following week he started against Lions, thought that was one of the best games I've seen from him. Uh, so that's timely, just before we, we selected our squad. He's a very intelligent player, he knows, um, knows systems, shapes, knows where the defence um, will be weakest. Uh, he's a strong kicking game. And he's real physical potential. Um, we saw that in that Lions game. We thought he defended really well that night. So, yeah, we're we're intrigued to to see what he's like in our group as well. Like there's there's obviously potential. There's performances from players that um, play club level, but international level is about taking on information really quickly. Um, about getting aligned with how the team you, you're going to play for is is set up um, and integrating with other teammates so we're looking forward to Ben doing that really quickly. Yeah there's a big opportunity for him where do you tend to use him there if Finn is there for example where do you see Ben for the future? We'll see he's obviously part of a, a group just now of three standoffs um, Finn, Blair, Kinghorn and and Ben um, but we know Blair Kinghorn can play other positions in the back line and we also have a couple of our, our standoffs injured just now and, and Adam Hastings and Ross Thompson so there's good competition uh, but we'll reward um, reward form, reward people that, that grab their opportunities and, and Ben now has this opportunity in our camp this week. Yeah he definitely does and uh, we heard a couple of weeks ago an attack coach and AB Zonga leaving, will that be now fall under the responsibility of you Gregor or will you look to bring in an attack coach? Uh, a bit of both so I think initially I'm, I'm going to coach more uh, in that area and we will have support for, for the attack um, so I can do the other parts of the, the head coach job but no, I'm, I'm looking forward to it and I do coach already um, the general attack so just to do some specific areas with the backs um, is something I've not done for two or three years with Scotland but uh, looking forward to that. Last couple for me, with the World Cup down the line how do you balance this championship? And such a big, important tournament. In oh, it's 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 a standalone tournament. It really is. Uh, you know, we've we've done a lot of preparation work for the World Cup. We've looked at our hotels. We've been out in France three times. We know our warm-up fixtures. We know who we're playing in the pool stages. But uh, these next six, seven weeks is about playing at our best level in the five games. And I, I don't think we'll even talk about World Cup to the to the playing group. Um, uh, we'll be telling them the schedules for the summer after the tournament's finished but the goal is to to get our best performances out in this great tournament. England first stop at Twickenham, what an opportunity. Yeah, challenge opportunity, it's it's the biggest game for us. 
it's uh, the most historic game in rugby union. The first um, first ever international was England Scotland 152 years ago. We play for a trophy, um, but probably more importantly is the momentum that both us and England are looking for. Uh, Six Nations is about building momentum, about getting wins on the board, uh, and we know this is this is such a big game to to either kickstart our season or make it a tougher season. And finally. Who knows what the future will hold, but if it is your last championship, Six Nations Championship, coaching Scotland, how determined are you to finish on a high? Oh, as determined as ever, but you know, um, that there's, a, there's a really good balance I think coaches have to find between putting in lots of work, um, but also enjoying what is in front of you. And th this is um, such a, a wonderful tournament to be involved in, such a privilege to, to be coaching that you've got to enjoy it as well. Enjoy the atmospheres, enjoy the occasions, enjoy the challenges you're going to get um, throughout this period. So that's the goal. Whether that'll happen or not, we'll see. Well, I hope you enjoy it, Gregor. Thanks for your time. Thank you.